They look determined. They're gonna try. Okay. We got the one humble teammate and the other guy that's like, whatever, we're winning. <laughs> it's Those done. are mine. It's done. Game side. starts, countdown has begun. And I do believe these opening moments will be just very, very important. Anytime a team can get that early lead, get multiple control points, it will be advantageous to them going into the mid game and you never want to find yourself in a huge deficit going to be incredibly difficult to come back and the game is officially live we see both the windmill and the mansion already getting picked up looks like nobody went to the clock tower at start both of them playing very safe making sure they get the initial points before they're able to go for the center and now blue is going to take control of this watchtower currently no one there at all and if you take the tower, it really gives you that benefit of being able to lock it down defensively. Getting it first is always really good because it really, it's the pivotal point of the map. You know, you want two points always. And it looks like some action over here at the trebuchet as we, we see two Ellie's going at it. And it uh, looks like they have chased out. Looks like bl the blue, the one solo blue guy ran, which means they're just gonna be able to destroy this trebuchet, which will buy them a lot of time. That's pretty interesting. They not only got two points, but they also went forward. Looks like they will take out their opponent's trebuchet. And um, you know, they will strategy. not only have the point lead, but they will eliminate that from their, uh, yeah, they're from their really opponent's arsenal. Really setting themselves up really nice for middle end game about, they got two points on the board already. They've already destroyed the enemy trebuchet, so they don't have to worry about that coming in and messing anything up. Uh, at this point, I mean, they're they're good to play defensive. The, the middle point is important, but when you've already got their two outside points, it makes it really easy to get a huge advantage, a huge lead. And we're gonna have Blue uh, picking up the mansion again. They have control of the middle, and now when they were down the two Ellies from uh, from them going after the trebuchet, that might have been a good opportunity for them to go out and just try to capture all the points, let them have it. Um, and now they do have two points. Are they going to be able to get this yeah, third? It looks like two points. The third one's being contested. They very well could get all three and get back into this really quick. Wow, they Blue did. Blue does. Blue gets all three capture points. So a great start. The center start. point is now contested, though. It's now neutralized. Red is, has nothing, though. Red, you need to get back on the board here. They really do. That... Uh, that uh, red player just got knocked out of the clock tower. Now trying to make his way back up. 101 to 110 though, a very close game as these control points keep going back and forth. They're now trying to take the middle once again. It's uncontested by the blue team. They will be able to capture it. Trying to get the mansion now. However, there are a few red players over at the mansion control point. It looks like they sent quite a few reds over to to get one point, which really at this point is not a bad idea. You want to make sure you get at least one capture point. So just send everybody if you've got to get it. And I think they're going to be able to take three again. We're going to have a tornado take down that Guardian. Guardian. Looks like the Guardian is down, but there's still lots of fighting going on around him. It's very easy for him to get back up if he's got any allies in the area. Yep. There we go. Here comes Blue, it looks like. Looks like three or four. They're gonna quickly get him back up and in the fight. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they sent everyone there to basically regain that point and they managed to keep their teammate alive and it has allowed them to not only uh, take the points, but they've taken a considerable lead right now, 196 to 111. It's still pretty close game, but now we have Red using that trebuchet, trying to get some damage done on the other team. They've got to focus on those points now. They did just take the clock tower. Yeah, uh, red has now got one of them. It looks like two are neutral. Uh, oh, red and blue have one. Looks like with the mansion being neutralized. And red is using that trebuchet to give some decent support. It's gonna make it really hard for blue to push them out of the center. Red currently only one player in the clock tower. Blue is trying to assault it as best as they can. Blue and red. Here comes a treb shot though, it looks like. Oh, just shy of, of hitting that center point. Blue is now securing the center, which is really gonna help them maintain that lead unless Red is able to stop that. 
Yep, Red firing the Treb into the clock tower. The enemy does capture it and is currently one control point. The windmill for Red and two for Blue. Still not a, a total runaway by Blue quite yet. It looks like uh, Blue is now trying to take out the Red Trebuchet, which is really an interesting way to go with only one person there to do it. You're effectively stopping the trebuchet from firing, but you're also wasting one of your team's time. They are not able to contribute in gaining capture points now. And we had a turret versus turret battle going on there. Engineer versus engineer yeah. with a lots of rifle fire, flamethrower, mines. And I think Blue's gonna go ahead and evacuate that strategy. In the meantime, though, Red has taken two points. Blue trying to get the mansion back right now. Red is still sitting on top of it. They have one player looks like, there. Looks like there's three Red that were just there that actually ended up completely dead. And yeah, we see Blue completely take it over. But 290 to 205, only 85 points separating these two teams. Blue trying to take over the windmill again, and that would give them another two point. Looks Control like the point engineers advantage. are still going at it over this trebuchet. Which at this point, it, it's really not a bad thing for Blue. They got one red guy there, locked down, no trebuchet fire. Yep, the windmill seems to be the one area that neither team can fully lock down. Oh, here we go. It looks like red is trying to storm the center now. We just saw two, three red guys maybe tear up that ramp towards them. And I don't think there's any blue at the clock tower. Red's gonna go ahead and uh, neutralize it. And now they've begun the capturing of it. And all three points currently neutralized, but captures will happen any moment. And it looks like, meanwhile, back at the trebuchet, it looks like Red is finally gonna go down. Here comes the stomp here. And there it goes, right there. The trebuchet is now destroyed. They are down one person on the red team. That'll give them a huge time advantage here to make a move. Now the windmill is being picked up here. Blue looks like they want to recontrol the clock tower heading in right now. Looks like it's uncontested. We do have an Ellie in there. And there is, in fact, a buddy comes to help him out. The windmill just got captured, oh, and they are going to take the middle, too. flashing right there into the middle of it. There's now two Ellie's. It looks like two Ellie's beaten on one Guardian. That is going to be an interesting fight there. The Ellie's are just going to get blocked and absorbed at times here. It looks like this fight might actually go on for quite some time. Well, 365 to 251, just a little over 100 points in favor of the blue team right now. They've done a great job maintaining the capture points, especially the middle, but they are really making the red team run around. Yeah, the red team is actually doing a good job of staying mobile, but they need to make sure that they're defending the points that they have. There's still one neutral on the map and it looks like red is still trying to push for the center. There are a couple of blue in the center just defending it and making sure that any red guy that comes up here just gets pushed out of the ring, gets knocked down. And they are starting, red team is bringing it back just a little bit, having the one control point and two uncontested points. Blue 293 to 380, less than 100. Blue no longer has any control points here. And are this they even huge, looking, are they even getting any? For red. They're trying to get the middle clock They're tower. They're in the middle. But it looks like there's two red, possibly three blue. And they're working hard to try to get those down. But there is a guardian there. Red now has two points on the board. That center is still under heavy attack. And suddenly it's looking like about a 60 point game here. Red is definitely back in this. If red could manage to take this center point, it would be a, a, a really, really big victory in this mid game. However, looks like we will see one red player go down at the windmill and they will control that. But Tornado oh. comes in and all the blues are ejected from the windmill point and that will allow Coming them to hold on to it just a little bit longer. A great way to make sure that nobody neutralizes that capture point. And they did finally get that Ellie out of there. 
and they will manage to pull it up. It's 354 to 415 though, still a really close match. Looks the like Blue is finally taking control of that center point. However, there's still one more, up oh, there it goes. Blue now has two of the control points. Red is with one. Red's trying to take their repair kit back to the trebuchet. And they have got uh, they have got some opposition. In fact, a second blue player comes in. And oh, this he really needs some assisting there. He got to, he has that part, so he's not really able to defend himself as well. And honestly, I've got to wonder if that's even a good strategy at this point. Right now, the blue team is just 50 points shy of taking victory, and I think they really need all the damage and all the capture attention that they could possibly give right now to get the points back in their favor. In fact, he's gonna go down. The parts just sit there. And unfortunately, the trebuchet will never get repaired for the red. Well, it's, it's great to see them actually viewing that as a threat now. In the earlier games, nobody really took advantage of the trebuchet. But I think after uh, hearing about the damage it can do and the knockback that it has attached to it, it's just, it's a really key aspect of this variant. And even though there's two control points for the red, looks like blue is gonna be coming in, taking that mansion. We got one of the rangers there. There's no one else contesting that grab. And he says, we've got it, we're good. Arms are raising They're in doing victory. A victory dance already. And I think the blue team has just sealed the deal, although the red team certainly gave them a run for their money. Congratulations, blue. Great game. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, guys. 